Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. What we're going to look at here is how to create an object mosaic in Illustrator, which is from time to time a useful technique, unless of course you're in the business of tiling bathrooms and you want to work out how to create something or indeed making mosaics, in which case you'll probably want to do it every single day. But for the rest of us, and you of course, all we need to know is this. Any image you bring in needs to be embedded. So if you're pasting images into Illustrator, this is one of the rare occurrences where it's actually useful to do that. Otherwise, here I have a placed PSD, it needs to be embedded. And you can see that I've got the option to do that here in the control strip. So if I click there, because this is a PSD with layers, it needs to be flattened down to a single image. And that's because this was a fab image from Adobe Stock, but it had a white background and I wanted some color. So I introduced it on another layer. Once you've got your image, go up to the Objects menu and make your way down to Create Object Mosaic. Now, interestingly enough, you can actually also do this with artwork that you've drawn in Illustrator. All you'd need to do is use this rasterize command first, not the effect, but use rasterize just here, and that way you could do exactly what we're gonna do now. If none of those conditions are met, this will be grayed out, but as it's available, we'll just choose that, and we get this dialog. And if you need to resize it, you can do that using these fields here. You can set the spacing, the grouting, if you would, if they were actual tiles. And I'm just going to put one millimeter between each of those. And you can set the number of tiles. Now, I'm only actually going to set the width here. And I think 50 tiles will be a great start for that. Because I'm then going to come down and choose this use ratio, which makes sure that all of your tiles are square. If you want them to be another shape, then just work out the numbers to do that. So I'm going to make sure that this is constrained in the width and the result is going to be color. I'd like it to delete the image afterwards, then hit OK. And there you are. You've got a nice mosaic tile in just seconds. Nice and easy. And of course, this is also useful. And I also use it this way as well to grab sets of colors from an image and then add those to the swatches. But that's it for now. Please do subscribe to the channel. Reach out to me if there's something you want to learn about. But until next time, see ya.